Hello royal folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Queen Elizabeth Hugh's personal fortune was estimated to be around 500 million US dollars. Now the question as to how it will be split between her children and grandchildren awaits an answer. Queen Elizabeth Yu, who passed away on Thursday at the age of 96, was obviously a very rich woman, although not as rich as some might have expected from a person in her position. Her personal fortune is estimated at slightly higher than $500 million, while the fortune of her son, King Charles E. Me, is estimated to be about $400 million. The overall worth of the entire royal family is estimated to be around $28 billion, according to Forbes magazine. After the Queen's death, the question arises as to how her personal fortune will be distributed. While Charles has succeeded her as king, he will not win the entire amount. Instead, he will receive an automatic amount of 15% of the royal house's annual profits, which are tripled into the monarch's pocket. An income of $24 million a year from the Duchy of Lancaster will also go straight into Charles' pocket. As for Andrew, Anne, and Edward, well, they are also surely expected to be rewarded, as they are monarch's sons and daughter. The intriguing story revolves around Prince Harry, however, who did not manage to arrive at Balmoral Castle in Scotland in time to share the Queen's last hours with her, instead arriving around half an hour after the news broke of her death. On the other hand, Meghan Markle publicly stepped out with Prince Harry, Prince William, and Kate Middleton on Saturday to pay tribute to Queen Elizabeth U. The four were photographed viewing a massive sea of floral tributes laid outside Windsor Castle in honor of the late monarch. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex held hands as they looked at the tributes. At one point, Harry lovingly put his hand on his wife's back. But is that the only thing they are here for? So what do you think guys, please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then thanks for watching, we'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.